Pigeons, we made it all the way to New York City. If anyone's got any recommendations of where we should go over the next four days, then let me know in the comments. That would be great. If you want to comment on my chat around fantasy, also jump down those comments and subscribe. And like if you are new, we'll get into this first game. Plenty of points scored in this one. 30 for the Warriors, 32 for the Rabbitohs there. And they snuck away with this one after you know, a couple of late tries there from the Warriors. So Cookie ends up with a try himself to get 70 points and a little early mark, 74 minutes there. So... 43 tackles along with the six tackle breaks. He continues to be you know, the premier hooker in the game, along with Mr. Harry Grant, who had a, a quiet one this week. Tavir Totola had a massive game, but you know, not really someone that we need to speak too much about. Johnson with 62, so welcome back to him. Very, very cheap, and I still don't think he's going to be an option. There's too many 25s in his game. Johnson with a solid one. So Alex, that is, with 62, with a try and three line breaks there to go along with seven tackle breaks. Jazz Tavanga, for everyone who selected him, got a great score out of him with 62 in the 54 minutes. So, yeah, a little bit of everything. You know, the 42 tackles, the try, a couple of offloads in there as well. If you plugged in Jai Arrow this week and you decided to hold on to him, that was a great decision. Obviously, got the 80 minutes. Jacob Host went down early. Uh, so yeah, Arrow got the 80, which is completely fair. The five missed tackles was probably a little bit higher than normal, but you had 43 tackles in there uh, with the four tackle breaks, 130 meters gets him a nice solid score. Really big scores around the park with Bunty of four getting 41 minutes and a, a big score as well with without getting a try was crazy. So that's that there. Tane Mill and a couple of good scores in a row, which uh, will start you know getting him to make some cash. Not that uh, there's many that own him. At the moment, Montoya had a great game as well, along with Dejan Arce with 53. So, so many guys over the 50 mark here. And if you picked him up a few weeks ago, you'll be really happy with that score. You'll, you'll get a few price rises out of him. And hopefully, that he can continue playing all the way through to that first buy round. All right, finally, Adam Fanua Blake with a 50 for those that still own him. Very, very small ownership percentage now at 2.9. So, you'll be happy with that. And, and now, you'll be lucky enough to potentially hold him all the way through to 13. Walker with a 50. Uh, still averaging 33.6, so still not a great option there. Colin Matangi with 47, was solid. Murchie in there as well, a big 80-minute performance from him. Lockie Ilias, if you had to play him this week, there's obviously been a few outs. You know, finding out that Adam Elliott is out while I was out last night was it was great. Just scrambling to try and, uh, or the other night, whatever it was, trying to scramble to, uh, to work out what I'm going to do with my teams before the games overnight. So that was fun, but Ilias definitely played in my team, people squad, um, all of them there, and I'm assuming if you own him. You were, uh, weren't very happy with the halftime score for him, uh, especially when they were, had so many tries. You know, they, they'd scored so many tries, and for him to come out and get 47 was a, a great finish there. And good that he's obviously running the ball, continuing to do so, uh, which is great. But a 47 for him, a 44 for Blake Taff as well, who had a, a pretty solid game. A couple of line breaks, try assists, a try as well. So you probably want a bigger score than that when he's got the four goals as well, but you will take anything above a above a 25 with, with Blakey, especially if you had to play him as well. That people squad with uh, with Elliot out uh, are playing, are taking Taft's 44 on the on the bench there. So happy with that. Reese Wall, still a lower game. I still don't think he's an incredible option. Uh, I thought he would work into it, but just the Warriors haven't been good enough, unfortunately. And he's still only got the one try. So has he even scored a try this year? I'm not even sure, to be honest. Uh, Freddie Lustig got big minutes off the bench, which is interesting for the for the 53 there uh, minutes. Campbell Graham with 35. We got Jackson Paul, uh, Paulo there with a 29 in his return game. So to Toho Harris with 24 in his 29 minutes. So there was some chat around him getting potentially 40 minutes. And he even got less than that. Obviously started on the bench. So for those who picked him up, there's, still, there's obviously a little bit of a percentage. I think he's going to be a weight. I'll probably pick up in round 13 exactly. I reckon it's going to be the the play with, with Toho. So... That was that. And Cody Nicarema coming up against his uh, his old squad. And Vialea continues to be horrendous at NRL Fantasy. So that is that first game. We'll move on to Titans and the Dragons there. So very, very interesting you know, win from the Titans as well. I actually tipped the Dragons in this one. I haven't really got many this week. I surprisingly, I said that Broncos had a good chance of beating Manly. I still picked Manly. I picked Dogs. Uh, thankfully, I did pick the Panthers and called a, a nice bounce back from that one. But yeah. Titans to sneak away with a win. It's again, it's some big scores, man. It's really strange that uh, how big the the scores are, and the run meters and stuff from some of these guys was incredible. So Fodawaka with a almost a full uh, eighty minute effort. Obviously, this one went to overtime, which which helps with the scores. But yeah, Mo with a with a big one there with fifty six in base. Benny Hunt he repaid the faith, thank God. Uh, so a thirteen and a sixty three gets you a nice thirty eight average over two games. We take that every day of the week. Not. Um, and we'll um, we'll stop the bleeding anyway in that that price. He, remember he said he's priced around that 45 or just above now. So 
any scores above 50 now, but we'll start to get him back up closer to 700k. So he's not an urgent sell, especially after that 63. And finally, only three missed tackles to go along with a couple of errors and still a penalty. But yeah, 63 was good for him. And welcome back to Jaden Campbell. So 13 tackle breaks and 266 meters with some kick meters as well. The one line break. So no tries or try assists was really good for him to get 62. Uh, so keep him on your radars for sure. Sexton came out and got a, had a, a decent game as well. And yeah, the four force dropouts, the 540 four kick meters to go along with these tackles, both for more, a, a try and, and some, you know, 52 in base as well was nice. Sully, Wallace, Brimson, look at all these guys go crazy. The uh, the scores, is like even Francis Molo getting 60 minutes, you know, Bellin with a 50 as well, and we finally get under the 50 mark with, with Lomax, who had a solid 48, and that was nice. If you had Aaron Clark still, you've made a bit of cash on him, and a 46, you know, so many guys that have actually scored pretty well. Uh, across this game and obviously you know Tyrell Sloan come back with 33 birds definitely still a trade out um, Can't believe how low he's scoring this year after being so consistent in, in years past Especially last year when he played in the in the back row as well. Um, that's basically it I'm on air with uh, 26 as well. So yeah, Jaden Sullivan to get 31 as well That was that for that game. We'll move to the last one Storm and the Panthers. And this was a very, very different game. There was some, a couple of good scores and then a mixture of some low ones. And if you managed to hold on to a few of these guys, the Isaac Tungos, uh, the Stephen Crichton's, and you really got rewarded in this game with a nice one against the Storm. And you can see how much they miss out on having Paps there. And, and obviously Hughes was a, was a big late out as well. But yeah, Tungo with two tries was, was really, really good. So good to have him back. Still averaging 45 for the season and, and his keeper numbers, to be honest. Uh, so for those that have moved him on, uh, unfortunate for those that aren't playing him this or didn't play him this week was also unfortunate Munster and Cleary getting 59 and 58 apiece so obviously a lower game for, for Nath again and if you captained him look this is the kind of the floor that you're hoping for not the 45 last week but to have two games in a row fairly low for his standards uh, is obviously a little bit annoying but other options like DCE Harry Grant got a lot lower than him so yeah, I suppose you got to cop that. The run meters was great. You just had no tackle breaks and only the one offload to, to floor uh, and the one try assist. So this is obviously not normal for him. He usually has the tackle breaks, the offloads, the, the try assist and the tries to go along with the goals and the runs and the, everything in between. But yeah, just not uh, not there for him, even in a, a nice win for him. So it's good to see Munster still be able to get a, a great score, even in a loss like that. I say, yo, with a, a big minute game, like I expected, but <clears throat> the 45 points... Uh, is obviously a little bit lower for him. The the tackles was was very much down with them having the ball so much. So that was that. Coruscant with 45 was okay. Joshy King of 39. You can't really complain too much. He's made the 200k. He's been solid for your squad. To'o with 38. So he should be playing Origin, guys. For those have been asking me, uh, so I wouldn't be looking to pick him up and just let him work back into his into his work. Really, uh, anything under 200 meters for him is is obviously a lower game, especially when they had the ball a lot. So. Just be aware that he's going to take a little bit of time to get back into it and, and get a lot better. All right, the outlier, the outlier game here comes from Harry Grant there with, with 10 missed tackles, really. So the 50 tackles is great, but for him to miss 10 is 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 a lot. It's, it's way too many. You know, anywhere around the 4 to 5 mark would be about normal for him. And uh, to have 23 in negatives is obviously not ideal. And running the ball, very limited uh, an amount, a very limited amount of time with the 34 meters. Just a very outlier game for him. He's, he's at 872k. And averaging 62 after this game, so he's been he's been electric for for anyone who's owned him. And obviously, if you don't, finally get a bit of a reprieve, like my team. Taylor May with 32, so finally a bit of a back down to earth game. Still at the 140 meters and seven tackle breaks. So this is going to be like his base, uh, which you can see with guys like To'o when they get you know five or so tackle breaks a game and some decent run meters that they're going to end up okay on a week to week basis, and then have those up, um, you know, those games with a fair bit of upside there. All right, we shot at the back, played the 25 minutes, was okay. And, you know, Kennedy's in there with 22. Brandon Smith, still some low minutes for some reason. Only got the one stint, obviously, there. Uh, Meany with a try and 20. Xavier Coates with a negative one. There you go. I thought he'd have a... a I thought he'd have the potential for a single-digit game. So I didn't think he'd have a, a negative on the front of it, but... There you go. That's that. Um, and then Spencer Laney with 12 in his 17 minutes. Again, the up and down nature of him is, is killing uh, his money making potential. He's made a little bit, but really to have you know some games with 17, 20, 25 minutes uh, and get 12 and the other games he gets 45. It's crazy. Uh, the up and down. And if you're someone who's been playing him in the interchange and then uh, leaving him out some games, I hope you've got it right and, and haven't you know, copped it. Similar with Xavier Coates as well, but I imagine you probably had to play him this week 
with a few of those guys out, uh, including Paps. But there you go, guys. That's the three games for your Saturday night. I hope you all enjoy those Sunday games today. And then we'll do our nice review shows. Good luck, guys. See you later.